Um, all right, let's get to 90 through 81, starting at 90. Uh, Kyler Murray is at 90. Uh, then Cooper Cup, Jalen Smith, Josh Allen, Marlon Humphrey, Zach Ertz, Cameron Hayward, Eric Kendricks, Ryan Ramchek, and then DK Metcalf. Um, I, th- I think the worst person on this list is Cooper Cup. Yeah, I think he's a system guy uh, with the Rams. Um, and we've seen Robert Woods become uh, Jared Goff's number one receiver, and, and Robert Woods is not on this list. So, uh, Jacob, what do you think about this uh, group of 10? I think one guy stands out above all else to me. Cameron Hayward being an 84, I think, is egregious. He belongs way higher. He's made two first-team All-Pros the last three years, and he's put up 29 sacks during that time. I mean, he's like the lifeblood of that Steelers defensive line. The Steelers almost made the playoffs this year because of how good their defense is, and I know a lot of people were focused on Minka Fitzpatrick, rightfully so. He had a massive impact there. But that defensive line is led by Cameron Hayward, and uh, just the impact that he has as a five-tech in that system is through the roof great. Um, He was kind of a little bit of a late bloomer in his career, um, kind of didn't do much in his first two years, so maybe that's why uh, players aren't giving him as much recognition as he deserves. But I think he's he's pretty clearly a top 50 player in my book, and I might even put him inside the top 40. I probably would. I just think – He makes a big impact for that team. And, you know, um, I'm pretty okay with the rest of this stuff. I'll note Josh Allen at 87. Some people will probably be like, oh, Josh Allen doesn't belong on this list. But uh, when we see some of the other quarterbacks ranked and where they're ranked, I think Allen's ranking of 87 based off his upside is very appropriate. Um, But when we get into the 50s, kind of deteriorates at the quarterback position. It's funny. Both of you guys mentioned the two guys I was going to stick out to me. One, um, and I think I maybe to me, Josh Allen is not should not be on a top 100 list. I think the upside's there. I mean, he's got the rocket arm. He's he's athletic. M- maybe, but I I think there are several quarterbacks that are not on this list that I would take above Josh Allen today. There's one at the top of that list that I am particularly perturbed by. I don't think anyone will be shocked. But we can get to that later. Um, I actually think Cooper Cup should be higher on this list. Well, I was a little surprised. Um, I, I maybe not much higher, but I don't think it's. I think where he's at is, you know, I, I think in that probably seventy to eighty range is probably where I would have him. So m- maybe in the eighties is not terrible. Um, I actually think he's slightly better than I, I like him better than Robert Woods. Robert Woods is good at a few things. I like Cooper Cup's style of play. I like he's the heady type player. He's the kind of guy I like. He kind of reminds me he's kind of a Patriot type player. He, he's that kind of guy. So I, I tend to like those guys. Um, maybe he doesn't have the athleticism, but uh, I'm, I guess I'm a little surprised that, uh, that you think that you would think you would put Woods ahead of Cooper Cup. Yeah, I mean, Woods is, like I said, he's become uh, Jared Goff's favorite receiver. And I, I think that Cooper Cup is basically a um, like a system player with the Rams. Like, I, I don't know if he would do that well outside of certain teams. You know, like, I, I, I agree that, like, he's a, a great guy to have on a team to, like, root for. Um, and, you know, he's he's fun to watch and, ha- and fun to have on your fantasy team. But I, I just I, I don't think he's. I don't think he's good enough to be in the top 100. I, I just don't. And, and Rob, the fact that Robert Woods is in here is, I, I think, a little egregious. Um, and Kenny, I believe that the quarterback uh, that you're referring to is uh, Nicky Franchise. Uh, exactly. Yeah, yeah, he's For those of you who are watching on YouTube, uh, he's above my shoulder here. Exactly. Of course, Nick Fran- Nicky Foles, oh, every top 20, should be in the top 20 every year into perpetuity. <laughs> Absolutely. All right. Uh, 80 through 71, uh, starting at 80, Miles Garrett, then uh, Calais Campbell, Tyron Smith, Keenan Allen, Marshawn Lattimore, Earl Thomas, Ronnie Stanley, Fletcher Cox, Josh Jacobs, and then Jarrell Casey. Um, no, I don't think anything's too wrong here. Uh, Miles Garrett is so talented, though. I, I feel like he should be a lot higher. Um, everyone else, though, I think is okay. Maybe Ronnie Stanley should be a bit higher. Uh, Gerald Casey at this stage of his career, maybe a bit lower. He's uh, kind of entering the down, the down slope of his career. Uh, but um, Jacob, what do you think about this uh, group of 10? Yeah, I think, I think Garrett's at 80 because a lot of people – probably penalized him for uh, what happened when he swung his helmet at Mason Rudolph last year. I think they were like, oh, I shouldn't vote for this guy too high, uh, which I can understand. Um, I'm going to focus again on the offensive and defensive linemen here. I feel like they're too low. Uh, Tyron Smith and Ronnie Stanley are two of the better offensive tackles in the league. I know Smith's had some injury issues, uh, but 
you know, he's long been a really rock solid tackle for the uh, Cowboys. I mean, we saw it when uh, in the game that he missed uh, against the Falcons a couple years back, Adrian Claiborne had like six sacks and that was like his, his season total came against the, uh, the Cowboys. So he has a massive impact there. Stanley did not allow a sack last year. Uh, part of that's Lamar Jackson's mobility, but he's kind of a guy who's on the rise. I'd move him up maybe 10 spots or so. So I, I wouldn't, I don't have too many qualms with that. Fletcher Cox, I think, deserves to be higher, though. He he has a big impact on the Eagles' defensive line. Uh, I'm I'm sure Kenny, you'll probably have some thoughts on Fletcher Cox. Um, so I'll uh, I'll defer to you on that because I'm anticipating you also think he should be higher. <laughs> I agree. I, in my mind, he's the second best def- interior defensive lineman in the NFL. If and if, if Aaron Donald is going to be in the top five, Fletcher Cox is not Aaron Donald. I, I give you that, but he's not that far behind him. He's not. 72 spots behind him. I think that's absurd. So in my mind, he's easily a top 30 player, top 35. Um, the, the two other guys on this, in this section here that I think need to be higher, um, Josh Jacobs. Uh, I know he's, I know he just played one year, but I, you know, I've been rewatching the 2019 season. I, I don't think I realize how good he was. I, I've actually moved him up in my fantasy rankings quite a bit. Um, I think I've underrated Josh Jacobs. He's, he does everything really well. Um, and he's really quick in space in, in tight space. Um, he's a much better running back than I think people realize. Um, he should be higher on this list uh, for sure. Keenan Allen, in my opinion, is just grossly underrated every year. This guy's the best route. He's the best pure route runner in the NFL um, by a significant margin. I think he he's he's better than several receivers that are on this list. Um, he should be significantly higher. To me, he's top fifty, top. 40 maybe i mean he think i think he's that good so uh, i definitely agree with you on cox but i the one the one's most egregious here to me is keenan allen yeah keenan allen definitely underrated um it, it's so weird to see Jarrell casey listed ahead of fletcher cox like i like yeah. if if the broncos offered Jarrell casey to the eagles for fletcher cox uh like who would say no to that trade like the eagles in a heartbeat they, they'd be like can we get a first round pick too um i, I don't i don't understand that at all like Jarrell casey used to be a great player for sure uh, he's not the same as he once was. And, and yeah, I agree. Fletcher Cox is definitely someone who should be a lot higher.